Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo and <laughs> went a little bit farther. I am Lobo and welcome to episode 46 of my Minecraft survival series. I am up here on top of our tree farm on top of Timberland, just having a look around and seeing what we've accomplished lately in our business district. It is coming along. But there is plenty more to do, namely over here in the uh, this new area, this new complex that we're building. And uh, let's go ahead and have a peek at it and see what all needs to be done and what we need to do. That is, that is not what I intended. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, let's head on over this way. We'll have a peek at one of the projects that we started last episode. This right here is the Farming Operations Office of Luna. Uh, it's kind of a long name. We'll have to shorten that a little bit. But... Think of this as like the administration building that's going to oversee production of uh, resources here in the business district of Luna uh, and in our farming district as well. That That is what the goal of this building is supposed to be. And over here, this was the second project we started last episode. And I don't know why we started to. It just kind of happened. Uh, this right here is going to be the farming operations office of Luna enforcement office is what I'm thinking as of right now, uh, where basically any rules or laws that the villagers over at the uh, the actual farming office come up with the administration, any rules that they come up with will need to be enforced. And this right here is a building where they will be enforced from. You'll come here to pay any fines, any, you know, and just anything really that involves this place gets enforced by this building right here. Uh, and I was initially intending these to be pretty similar in color palette, in, in size and shape and stuff like that. And even though I do like this building that we've completed, I don't think that's going to be the case now. I think we need our own color palette, our own style for this building right here, uh, just to kind of separate it, add some variety to this area. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out a new color palette for it, try to figure out what we're going to do, and I'll be back in just a minute with a plan. Hopefully. All right. So let's have another look at what these buildings are for. Who's going to be occupying them? So the council of villagers will be in this building. They will be doing all the administration stuff, overseeing production in the farming district. Uh, this building right here is going to be the enforcement office where we'll probably think about who needs to enforce these rules. We'll probably have our sheriff's office do it. Really, our uh, sheriffs and canines are probably the best choice. So let's go ahead and model this building kind of after them. And I'm thinking this white terracotta yeah, that 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 goes well with your uh with your skin. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably take out all the gray terracotta in here and we'll probably replace it with white terracotta because we've used the light gray terracotta previously in this tower over here if you can see it, which you really can't. Uh but trust me, it's there. It is there. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and since we already know basically what is going to happen style-wise with this building, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is put on some music and let's get this thing built.
Now with the exterior of this building done, with the exteriors of both these buildings done, which I think work pretty well here together, uh, we need to think about what else we need to do around here to kind of complete this a little bit more. So I was thinking that right here, uh, what we could add could be a retaining wall, kind of like we did over here, which you can't really see. Let's go ahead and have a peek at that. Yeah, a retaining wall just like that. I think we could go ahead and do that in this area. Uh, I don't want to get into that right away though, because we already know what that's going to look like. I think we need to plan out some of the stuff we don't know first. Uh, so let's walk through here real quick and kind of figure some stuff out because we need a whole interior in this place. Um, we need interiors in both these places, actually. So that's something we're going to have to work on. Uh, spawn proofing, that's a major thing we're going to have to work on. That's kind of what I want to get started on next. Uh, as you can see, these buildings are done pretty much 360 degrees around. And you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, before we do anything else, let me collect this stuff because I was kind of trying to um, plan out like how we were going to spawn proof this place. And I went and put stuff in the chest and came back and just completely forgot I left all this stuff out here. So uh, lighting, lighting is one thing that's super important. Uh, half slabs, leaf blocks, uh, transparent blocks in general. These are all things we're gonna utilize to try to spawn proof this whole area. And this is the reason for that. Where even are you? Okay, just leave me alone, go away, and bye. Whew. But yeah, that's, uh, that's why spawn proofing is important. <laughs> so if we head back over here to this area where we were picking items up from just a few minutes ago, I was thinking what we could do over here, like you see how that's glass and leaf block, it's uh, both transparent blocks that light can show through. Uh, what I was thinking we could do is carve into the bottom part of our city wall. We can also get some of these blocks back, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be stingy, but if we can get the blocks back, then uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So what I was thinking we could do, let me clear out a little bit more of this actually, just so we have some room to work here. Uh, what I was thinking we could go ahead and do, because these torches right here, these torches are just not cutting it. I was thinking we go ahead and add some jack-o'-lanterns down here to try to extend the light a little bit further into the walkway over there. Um, so maybe that'll work and maybe we can cover it up with leaf blocks just to hide them a little bit so that way they're not super visible and apparent. Uh, but yeah, let me let me try this and see how this works. Okay, so that appears to have helped some. Uh, right here, I was thinking we could also hide some lighting. Just to, we want as much lighting in here as we can. And I believe actually, if we were to go ahead, let me try something real quick. I believe that if these were full blocks, if the thing was surrounded, yeah we can kind of hide the pumpkin. Like we can just kind of black it out so you don't even see it at all. Um, I'm gonna need some more slabs though. I'm gonna need some more slabs if we're gonna do that. Since we decided to build this little pathway on a full block level, um, I just wanna make sure that the lighting throughout here is going to be completely sufficient to prevent any kind of spawning, any kind of zombies from coming out here and attacking our villagers. Uh, because while I can handle myself, uh, they, they are pretty much helpless. So we wanna do all we can to get this place spawn proofed, you know? All right, so we have a lot of hedges in here uh, that, you know, have a purpose other than their aesthetic value. Uh, and we'll see that hopefully a little bit more once the sun dips down below the horizon. That's what I'm waiting for before we continue to spawn proof. Because this area right here, uh, this is going to still need some work because I doubt that light is sufficient enough to prevent spawning. Um, so, yeah, um, let me go ahead and just finish up up here for right now uh, since uh, we're still waiting for nighttime to, to roll out. Uh, basically all I'm doing up here is just putting cobblestone walls up in here through like this and uh, back here I think what we'll go ahead and do is just some leaf blocks that will prevent mobs from uh, spawning on any of these surfaces. And now the walkway between the two buildings should now be complete and spawn proof and we just went with the same old tricks over here. I was going to try something new but then kind of decided against it. So let's go ahead and move on inside uh, and we need to do some, just try to figure out how the interiors are going to look. And I think the first step in doing that is probably going to have to be getting some floors in here. So let me go ahead and start with that and I'll meet back up with you guys in just a little bit. Alright, so we have the floor of the ground floor in but I kind of ran into a problem here uh, and that is like I can't figure out where to put my stairs to go up to the top floor uh, because like I mentioned the footprint of this place is a lot smaller than I really want it to be I mentioned that last episode and I added so many features in here there'd be so many different rooms doors balconies windows etc that I have no idea where to add my stairs oh man 
Okay, crisis averted, crisis averted, don't worry. Uh, so we need a space efficient staircase, and that ended up being a spiral staircase, which I think could definitely work here. Um, and it'll be the same on this side. We're going to mirror the same thing on this side because he's bu this building is symmetrical. Uh, so I think we'll probably end up replacing this wood with something else, something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing after a while. Uh, but I'm going to leave that there for now just to kind of work off of. But from here, we can go ahead and start getting our second floor in and then continue to run the staircase up into our third floor. Okay, so we're making a little bit of progress, but the thing is, I hear a skeleton somewhere, and we definitely want to take care of that because uh, I think, th I thought this place should be non-spawnable at this point. Hello. You need to just stop. I said stop. Okay. Uh, oh, he probably, maybe the um, the area, like the, the landings. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Uh, where is he? He sounded like he's up this way somewhere. Okay. Hi. Okay. No, seriously. Where where did you come from? Because this should definitely not be spawnable. There should be no spawnable surface out here. Nothing's on the, the full block level. I don't understand that one. I do not understand that one. Um, huh. Yeah, I on it. Are you serious? Did we build a skeleton spawner here, guys? <laughs> like, I hear another one. Okay, well. Hi. Listen, I don't know where. You, well, this, this room isn't too well. Oh my gosh, we really did build a skeleton spawner. Okay, you know what? This is going to be just like, ah! Okay, so hopefully this solves our uh, our skeleton spawning problem. We have our jack-o'-lanterns in place now, providing plenty of light throughout the area. We also have our canine security team who will handle any uh, wayward mobs that decide to come in here. Uh, and right now I'm just getting some rooms in place. Uh, this is actually not going to be a room. This is going to be a hallway that leads out to that balcony right there. Uh, most of the other balconies will belong to their individual offices, though, I think. And how are we going to handle this window? I don't really want the brick showing, but if we do this, it's going to cover up the window and that could look potentially really ugly from the outside. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and check it out before we decide to tear it down. Make sure it's even visible. And yeah, that that's hideous. We'll fix that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, since we're going to have iron golems coming into this building, wherever they are right now, they're going to be coming in through this door right here, which is a big door. We gave them a big door to walk through. And like I, like I said, right now we're just kind of getting stuff laid out, just planning the different rooms and stuff like that. And I guess we could also go ahead and check out this building as well because we did some planning in here too. Uh, so... You know what, I think what we're probably going to want to do is go through the main entrance because that's how you're going to first see this place when you walk into it. Uh, so right here for the walls, I think what we're going to use predominantly is going to be bone block. Uh, just like we did for the exterior of this building, bone block, bone block, bone block. And we'll probably go ahead and do a little bit more here just to give you kind of an idea of how everything is going to work in here. Uh, like it's going to be kind of cramped in some points. Uh, that's, you know, I can't really help that. Uh, if I want to keep it looking the way I want to have it look. So right here, the hall is going to be basically just too high. Uh, right here we can stand to extend it to three high. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's just some of the, some of the stuff that we're going to have to do. We're going to do bone block walls and ceilings in here and bring this whole staircase up like this. So that way we don't fall off the edge as we're walking up, just kind of enclose everything. Um, and hopefully that works out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We might end up changing it, but then again, we might not. All right. So we're just wrapping up, getting all the floors and ceilings and walls in place before we start decorating. And this won't necessarily be the last of it, but we are getting close. Uh, so as you can see, this bone block the whole way around just to keep it nice and bright and open feeling. Um, as far as the carpet goes, uh, what we did or the floor, uh, what we did was a Keisha border with, uh, some, light gray concrete powder and light gray carpet. And of course we're going to keep the oak going as well since that's where our stairs are made out of. Uh, we got some little tables right here. I'll put some potted plants on those probably. And if we go up this way, I should be able to kind of round out the, uh, the concrete powder on this floor since we have a ceiling in place now. 
And I mean, you know, it's coming along. Now moving on to the enforcement office, you can see it's slightly less complete. We have Monterey and Brian here just kind of supervising, you know, they're trying to keep me in check. Uh, they're trying to supervise me as far as the construction goes. Look at them, keep an eye on me, make sure I continue to work. Uh, as you can see, it is more, it is much more or less complete, much more or less. Yes. <laughs> so, um, we need to finish this up. I need to make a checklist. Like we need to do the interiors of the both buildings. We need to go ahead and get our retaining wall in place. And we'll probably also want to go ahead and continue our road out through here to the city entrance. So what I think I'm going to do to, to get myself motivated is put on some music and let's just, let's try to get some work done. Nope, I know that sound. <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. This is the third time these guys have invaded our city. And it's the second time they've done it while interrupting a time lapse. <laughs> oh man, are you guys serious right now? Really? This is completely ridiculous. But let's just go ahead and take these guys out from a distance. I. I <laughs> I'm not trying to make some big thing out of this. Like, we're just going to snipe the skeletons off their horses. We'll aim high so that way we don't actually hit the horses. And that's what I get for talking. I actually hit the horse while I was saying don't hit the horse. All right, you know what? Okay, got that guy. There's one more left right here. If we can aim real high. Okay, slightly lower. Uh, off to the side just a little bit. We'll take these guys out. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the horses over to the stable, which are running out of room in, by the way. I think we only have one or two more stalls open, uh, which means some of these guys are going to have a roommate. Uh, but that can't be helped at the moment. We're going to need some more. It's a bigger stable or something like a horse storage solution. I am so sorry about your buddy, by the way. I am sorry, guys. I do apologize. But you are going to love it here. And we are happy to have you. Let me go ahead and get some saddles for these guys take them to the stable and then we'll get back to what we were doing. Come on, Monty. Yes, you have to go to work. I know, I know. Nobody wants to go to work, but it's something that we all have to do at some point. Most of us, at least. But yeah, you look good over there. You look good, Monty. Uh, you might want to face the other way because that's where the customers are going to be coming from. Uh, just say so you no. Know. And Monty's in charge of this storage room right here, which is just think about it as like a kind of evidence locker since this is kind of 
kind of a law enforcement type place. Um, so just think about that as an evidence locker. And Monty, you're doing such good work. Uh, you got a customer out there, it looks like. <laughs> uh, so we have poppies playing around here because, the, you know, the Iron Golems, they had a hand in decorating this place. And we'll go through their entrance right here. They uh, have their individual storage equipment lockers and stuff right here. Uh, of course, we got more poppies planted around. We got this guy right here uh, who is here. We need to get him a name tag. He's new to the force. Uh, but think of him as kind of a dispatcher. He'll take the complaints. He'll, he'll d tell the golems where to go. And they'll roll out here and handle business uh, past our freshly landscaped area. Um, yeah, we did some landscaping, ran some roads around too. And I kind of stopped. I was planning on doing this, but I decided to hold off on that until we get some more buildings in place just so I can kind of have a better idea of where everything actually needs to go. Uh, he's new too. We need to get him a name tag as well. <laughs> We've got so many new applicants. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish touring this place. So if we come in here, we got uh, we got Sergeant Bree, who's over here giving a motivational speech to her uh, employees right here. Uh, good job. Keep up the good work, everybody. I'm so proud of you. I know all our villagers are, too. Everybody is so, so psyched that you're here. Finally bringing order to this place. Uh, if we go upstairs, this is where our offices are. We got our little records room right here. Um, right here, we have our little balcony, which has a pretty decent view of what will be our city. Um, we got another little records room right here, which will probably end up needing to move this bookcase forward one block to have it look right. That's kind of awkward. Uh, we have our individual offices right here, which you guys saw me make. And I really don't like how the paintings are that high up. Maybe we can change that a little bit real quick. Uh, I probably should have uh, done this before I started this clip because this is going to take forever. Uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and leave it like that for now. I'll come back in here and see if we can make this look a little bit better <laughs> a little bit later. Uh, but we have to decide who gets what office, which office Bree gets, which office, you know, whoever else we get gets. And uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and check out our other building now. So let's go ahead and keep up the good work, guys. Keep it up. You're doing great. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the farming office, the farming operations office of Luna. I'm trying to decide which way we want to go. We'll just enter through the back, but we're going to pretend like we're coming through the front, okay? Oh yeah, we got this thing. This is another thing I took care of just after we finished filming that time lapse because I didn't completely like the way it looked. Did you guys just hear a skeleton and a spider? This place should be completely non-spawnable right now. So, I don't know. They might be underground. They might be underground. I have to check that out in a minute. But we can check out this thing right here, which I changed up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, we wrapped some leaves around it, made it look all pretty. And I like that so much better than it was before. I am very happy with how this whole thing has turned out now. Which, I, I gotta say, like, you're my... All right, you know what? We need to handle some business. <laughs> we need to handle some business before I forget about this. So let's go ahead and get down in here and we'll see. There you are. Hi, we'll take care of these guys real quick. And yeah, uh, you guys might remember I wasn't too happy with how this was looking towards the end of last episode, but now I am super happy with it. And let me light this place up and then we'll get back to our tour. So we're continuing to work on our custom trees. And I think this one has actually turned out pretty good compared to the ones we did previously over here. Um, I think I think we're getting better at those. We'll continue to get better at them as we as we move forward uh, and do more of them. But heading in here, you can kind of see what we've done in here. Uh, we just kind of decorate a little bit. Nothing's changed structure wise. We just added some paintings. We added some plants. Uh, we made our little offices back here. We have our desks and all that stuff out here. We have our balcony, which again, will have a beautiful view of the business district. Um, and the views are something I, I really do consider when I'm building these things, like how everything is going to look like you have a reason to go in someplace. Yeah. The view. So if we come in here, uh, what's up here? is just an attic. It's, it's pretty much empty, but I'll go up here and show you anyway. I just want to make use of all the available space that we have. So we might do something with that in the future. Uh, if we come back out here, you can see we're going to have a view of our actual farming district. That's going to be that way. Uh, the water side district is best viewed from this balcony right over here. That's going to be an awesome view as well. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm super happy with this right now. So let's go ahead and slap a name on this place since it is now officially open for business. Do we want it right here? Like all nice and high? Or do we maybe want it a little bit lower? Um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to go, we're going to go up here all nice and high. Um, so this place is the Farming Operations Office of Luna, as we discussed earlier. Or if you want to abbreviate that, the F-O-O-L. 
or full. Now moving on to the enforcement office, where do we want to put our sign over here? I guess right here. So you'll see it when you're walking up to it. This is the farming operations office of Luna enforcement office or Fulio. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to have fun with this stuff, right? You got to have fun with it. But yeah, I think that is all the time I have for today. I am actually super happy with how this whole area is turning out right now. And we'll, we'll make it prettier. Like in the next few weeks, we'll be coming back here and making everything look all nice. But I do think that is all the time that I have for this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed it, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean so very much to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. As always, though, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.